morning, friends. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, which is available on my website that's got the same name. So are all or most of these supplies. Though today I would like to show you how you can take one of your glass vases that you probably have sitting around your house, uh, especially right after Valentine's Day, and turn it into this. And this was a clear glass vase, and I'll show you how to make those beautiful butterflies, how to decoupage this. It's really pretty simple, and I think you're going to like this one today. So without further ado, here's how we can get this started. Now I'm just securing this a little bit, my glass vase, by putting a couple of DVDs underneath it so it doesn't roll around like this, I'm trying to keep it straight. And what I'm going to do is take two different colors of tissue paper. Now I want to tear off these hard edges and you can use those up at the top but for me I personally want to just throw those all out because we really just we don't want any of those hard edges anywhere else on the vase. It just makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to tear up several pieces of the green paper and several pieces of the blue paper. You can use any colors you want. You can use one color. You can use a couple of similar colors. If you're doing a wedding theme, you may want to go with a white and an off-white. It just adds a little bit more depth to this. You can use green and yellow. Just experiment with the colors to make sure they work. You wouldn't want to use something like a black and a red. That would be too much. So let's just finish tearing up all of these pieces. Now we're going to take our decoupage glue on a paintbrush and we're going to put it in the section where we're going to place our paper. And I've got all different sizes here. Place the piece of paper down, cover it with the decoupage glue, and then you pick up another piece of paper. And I'm going to use two different colors and just keep doing this, overlapping each piece until I finish the whole vase. Once this whole vase was covered, I put it on parchment paper, I put it in the oven and set the oven to 175. When the oven reached 175, I turned it off and I left this in there to cool down for a half an hour with the oven. While that was in the oven, I took these regular white cone coffee filters and I did the same thing. I decoupaged those tissue papers right over the surface and I let them dry. And I left the back plain like this. And once these were dry, you can see they're very wrinkly. So what I did was I took a piece of parchment paper, folded it over this, and I took an iron on like a regular setting, not too hot, not too cool, right in the middle there. And I ironed this, I kept the iron moving over it to flatten those papers out a little bit. By the way, the oven is taking the wrinkles out of the tissue paper on our vase. So these are for our butterflies. And I have a couple of different sizes of butterflies and these punches rather. I'll have them on my website along with some of the bling that's coming up. By the way, the link to my website is right below in the description of this video if you care to go over and purchase anything. I'm going to turn this butterfly over and I'm taking this beautiful blingy nail polish that I have, very glittery, and I am going to apply this to the back of the coffee filter. To the butterfly rather and the reason that I am doing this is because this nail polish will firm up these coffee filter butterflies and it works as an excellent glue so you can see there's clearly not enough glitter on there not for me anyway <laughs> so we're going to take other glitters that match our paper Thank you. 
And here you can see how our butterflies look. And even though that looks really pretty to me, I'm still going to add a few more things into the center. So I'm taking some crystals and I'm going to use regular glue. You may have self-adhesive crystals, but I'm still going to use some glue. And I'm using one of these wax pencils to pick up the beads. And I'm also using a toothpick because I can apply the glue that much easier. I just stick the toothpick into the top of the container of the glue and I spread it right into the center of the butterfly. I wasn't too wild about that large gem right there. So I just use these tinier gems. You can see they're a little difficult to pick up, which is why you need one of these wax pencils. <laughs> and I'm going to add them to the center of all of my butterflies. You know, come to think of it, I didn't try to use a crayon, but maybe a white crayon would work because that's waxy and it will help you pick up these crystals if you don't want to buy one of these pencils. Now I put my butterflies aside to dry and the vase had cooled off. Now I do have to tell you, I took the vase out of the oven. Once it was all cooled off, I went over it one more time and covered it in more tissue paper. I wanted a little bit more blue than I did the green on this. So what I decided to do was cover most of the green with the blue, which is a very sheer color, and I put it back in the oven same instructions. When it was done, I took the triple thick spray, and I had to do this outside so I couldn't show it on camera, and I covered the whole vase, and while the triple thick was wet, I used a, three different color glitters all over the vase. These three colors because they're blues and greens, and I wanted them to match the colors of the vase. So I let all of that dry. By the way, I took a nail file and went across the top of this vase and just filed away any excess paper that was on there. And make sure to file in one direction. And you can see all of the glitter on here. And this is with the top coat on it. And I like a lot of glitter. But now what I'm going to do is the same thing that I did with the butterflies around the top here, just as if this were a margarita glass and you're adding salt. I'm putting the glitter nail polish, which is really clear with glitter in it. And I'm going around the rim and I'm going to shake some of the different colored glitters on here so that it's going to almost look like a sugared margarita glass with those glitters. Now all I'm doing is a dry run. Everything is complete, everything's dry. The vase, the glues, the glitters, everything is secure. And before I glue these down, I made about seven butterflies. I may use them all, I may not. So I decided to just go with a few of them. Once I was happy with the pattern, I took my glue again and the toothpick. And this is just some form of a better glue. Hot glue can be a little bit bumpy and lumpy and hard to work with. So this dries pretty quickly and I was able to pinch the butterfly wings together so the glitter shows on the front, the papers, the tissue papers show on the back side and I just glued these in somewhat of a random pattern. I wanted it to look like butterflies flying up from the bottom uh, all along the front of this and now here is how our completed vase looks. Now it has been so gloomy and overcast here for the last several days, I wasn't able to take this outside and show it to you in the sunlight. So it's under halogen lights here. I hope you can get a real feel for how pretty this really looks. Going from a plain old glass vase that you may have gotten for Valentine's Day with flowers in it, or even if you have a few of these around the house, this is quite an upcycle, isn't it? And I just saw someone last night on YouTube in a video who filled one of these with Epsom salts and then she put branches, I think they were curly willow branches. You can get those at the craft store or even find them outside. I'm going to buy those lit branches that have tiny lights on them and stand them up in these with the Epsom salts or some sand inside to secure the branches. You can put flowers in them. This looks so pretty, you can just leave it sitting on the countertop the way it is with nothing in it. <laughs> and in the meantime, guys, 
I am happy to help you out if you've got any questions. Please uh, make your comments below. Ask me any questions. Thank you so much for subscribing. That is huge to me. You just click the button below this video that says subscribe. You don't have to do anything else. It's free and you're helping me to continue to make more videos. I love chatting with you guys. My pleasure. I will see you guys next week with another video. Hope you're well guys. Bye bye.